the operating room, it's one of the most drastic surgeries anyone can undergo or perform. A heart transplant is usually a last resort for a patient with a damaged or failing heart. More than 2,000 of these surgeries are done every year here in the U.S. But last December, at the University of California San Francisco Medical Center, marked an apparent first, as an all-women team performed a heart transplant. Every day, you're just waking up to do your job to save lives. And when history gets made in the process, we like to take a selfie and commemorate it. <laughs> this photo captures the moments after they completed the five-hour procedure. The OR, occupied solely by women, including the patient. Cardiothoracic surgeon Amy Fiedler led the five-hour surgery. I hope that the younger generation sees it and says, this is something that I can do too. Surgery fellow Laura Scrimger and anesthesiologist Charlene Blake were part of the eight-woman team. It wasn't until Dr. Fiedler said, at the end of the case, we are all women. <laughs> wow, we, we are, look at that. When you all look at this photo, yes. <laughs> what do you see? I think what's cool about the picture is that despite everyone wearing masks, you can see that we're all smiling. The groundbreaking surgery defies a long-standing reality in the male-dominated field of cardiology. Despite outnumbering men in American medical schools, women made up just 6% of practicing adult cardiac surgeons in 2019. How often are you the only woman in the room or one of just a few? When I was in training, Every time, I was the only woman outside of the nursing staff, usually. Many, many people tell you not to do it. Even people that love the career, they're like, if you can do anything else, do it. Because this is gonna take <laughs> everything in your life to do. Do you think there are any challenges unique to women when it comes to cardiac surgery? Oh, undoubtedly. Mm -hmm. You can't talk about this job without speaking about the impact on your personal life, family planning. You're a mother. I am, I have two beautiful children. So like finding time to pump, that was a challenge, you know, when I came back from maternity leave for my daughter. Now these three doctors are trailblazing lifesavers and their patient is healthy and doing well post-surgery. I think what's so amazing is that she also recognizes the impact of the moment. She gave me this huge hug and she like would not let me go. And I said, I'm so proud of you. And she said to me, she's like, no, I'm so proud of you. Keep doing what you're doing. That's nice. <laughs> I know we're all familiar with, you know, Rosie the Riveter, right? Have you all seen Susie the Surgeon? Oh, wow. <laughs> oh no, that's great. That. I haven't seen that. What emotions does it evoke for you? Pride, strength. Anyone that puts in the time can do this job, and I think it's really amazing. So I hope things like that encourage more women to do it, for sure. What advice would you give to other women who are interested in this field in particular? If this is what you love, go after it. Yeah, it's hard. You can do hard things. So do it. Do what you love. <laughs>